why do we paint rather than powder coat? It's going to be an argument back and forth to manufacturers and consumers alike. We choose paint because it's going to be easier on the consumer end of things to touch things up and fix up the trailer. When you powder coat it, if you don't have a good base coat or if it starts chipping away, it chips off in flakes. There's no way to round it. We use a high dollar phosphate system like you're seeing here. We take each trailer individually into a booth, hook it up to this phosphate system, high pressure hose. We make sure that our base material is free of grime, grease. It gets rid of all the mill scale, uh, cleans it off and gets it a good profile for us to then prime and paint it. So after we take it out of the booth, we go get it dried. And then the next step is going to be critical. And a lot of times you can't do this when you powder coat because the powder coat is going to, it, you have to bake it at 400 degrees. You can't caulk your seams unless you do it after the fact. Very few people do that. So as you can see here, we caulk every seam. Every seam that is not fully welded is going to get a bead of caulk. And then we go through and smash it down to make sure it's going to get into those seams and it's going to bleed right into the material nice and effortlessly so it's a nice even seam that way when it goes to paint you're going to have a nice sealed off area and that's usually where you get a lot of moisture and a lot of uh, different issues with with runs and rust <clears throat> as you can see we use a air assist system it's going to put a lot of material onto the trailer the guys have to move very fast. We're going to do a base coat, a primer coat, and we're going to do either two or three top coats, whatever it takes for us to get to the mill scale that we need. You have to use a high quality brand. We use Sherwin Williams. So we're doing everything from the factory as told to us by Sherwin Williams to get the mill buildup that we need. That's going to make it stronger and more resistant to all kinds of nicks and dings. But bottom line, it's a trailer it's going to have issues and these are powder coated ones that you're looking at right here so as you can see even if it's powder coated it's going to have major issues it's just the nature of the beast it's a trailer with our trailer you can simply just grab some spray paint and spray paint over the top of those little nicks and scratches and dings whereas with powder coating there's no way to do that because powder coating is going to flake off in large chunks so if you try to you know paint over the top of that it's just going to flake off underneath and you're going to have major issues the only real way to deal with powder coating is to get it completely sandblasted. As you can see here, with ours, you can simply touch this up in a matter of seconds, minutes. You could redo the entire trailer and keep it nice and fresh. You can cover up those little rust issues. You can even give it like a, a nice rust inhibitor type of, of pre-coating before you spray it with the top coat. So this is why we use paint rather than the powder coating and it really comes down to the end user being able to touch things up knowing that a trailer is going to be used for what it's designed for and it's going to get beat up so as you can see our paint is a great system it's going to look great coming out of the door for the consumer and then after that it's a matter of just easy touch up so this is why we paint rather than powder coat it's a simple process for for all those involved